Hey everybody, this is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade out in Brookfield, Illinois. Today is Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. We are here at the Galloping Ghost Arcade. Still not open to the public, but we've made that official announcement that we'll be opening toward to our weekly, monthly, yearly, and lifetime members on the 15th, so a mere five days away. Our first Monday mystery with ever, with our regulars back here, so it should be a lot of fun. Shout out to Thomas Roth and Jimbo Slice. Thank you both for joining us. And Bulldog and Dennis and Rory, thank you all for being here. Paul Hill, thank you. And Zach uh, and Nick, thank you. Awesome to have everybody showing up. Jimbo Slice throwing 50 stars. Thank you so much for that, man. Very, very much appreciated. Lumbo joining us. So it's uh, we're gearing up. It is still, it's... We've been saying it's all hands on deck. Today, no exception. There has been a lot of movement. Jimbo throwing another 50 stars. Thank you, man. Very much appreciate it. And another 50 stars. 150 stars from Jimbo Slice. Thank you, man. Very much appreciate it. So everything is, it's still very chaotic here. Jimbo sent another 50 stars. Thank you, Jimbo. Very awesome of you. Ned saying, see on the 20th, that is right. We will be opening up to the, to the general players on the 20th. It is, we are so excited for it. We miss everybody so much, and it is going to be, it's coming up. It's that crunch time. We are gearing up, getting ready for it. Bulldog saying, can't wait to come home Monday. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, John saying, congratulations on the announcement. Thank you so much. Uh, Eddie saying, hello. And... Adam is joining us. Patrick, uh, what will the new uh, safety protocols when you reopen to the general public? So uh, we're going to be doing uh, distancing with by the cabinet. So you're, we're asking that you don't play within two cabinet lengths of anybody else. Uh, we're offering gloves and masks and everything. Uh, cleaning, pretty much. We've always maintained uh, cabinets got to be clean. So uh, that's, that's gonna be pretty much the standard protocol. Everything's gonna be getting wiped down as always. So uh, we'll have all the details and uh, everything at the front counter when everybody comes in. Adam, I'm glad you're reopening. Thank you so much. Shout out to Dan Icavelli. Thank you for being here, man. Bad news to Cruz joining us. Hope your day is going well, man. Um, Alan saying sweet, I'm on vacation for the 20th of July. Gonna have to stop in. Can't wait to have you here. Thomas Ross sending a thousand stars. Thank you so much, man. Saying, see you in August, trying to book my flight now. That is excellent, man. I cannot wait to have you here. This is gonna be so cool, so cool. A lot, lot to catch up on, and uh, we'll definitely show you a lot of behind the scenes stuff when you're here. Eddie's saying, can we see Star Rider again? Oh, absolutely, we can take a walk over that way. Might lose signal, but we'll be back if that happens. Um, Charles saying a heavy machine gun, Metal Slug 3, till you develop severe arthritis. Hopefully that doesn't happen. We're embarrassing. Doc, I got my flicky poster today. It's signed by some new name, Dave, but I can fix that. <laughs> that's, that's Danielle's signature for sure, for sure. Uh, she uh, was, was so happy that those went out and apologized that they, they took so long to get out. But... Uh, they're all, um, they're all out. They're all on their way. So hopefully everybody enjoys it. Uh, Richard, hello. Thank you for being here. And George, hello, hello. Fat Chris, what is up? Saying, uh, I hope everyone's having an outstand outstanding Wednesday. Uh, this fat guy's day has been unbelievable. And now doing some Mike Hagar barbecuing on the grill. That is awesome, man. I'm so happy for you that uh, things are going well. Efren saying, uh, hi, Doc, can't wait. I am so excited for everybody to see everything. There is so many changes, so many improvements, still a lot of fine tuning. We had wanted to have every, we wanted to have everything be 100%. Going through that list, we've, we've done our best. I don't know if we'll have 100% everything fixed that we wanted to, but Everything should be 100 percent like, all the games are going to be working. Star Trek is the last game not running. We've been seeing, and Doug assures us, by the weekend that'll be good. Um, 
there's been so many machines that as we're shifting them around, we put them in, in their new spot, fire them up, and there's something wrong with them. The turbo has been off, for example. Not been played at all. Fired it up, developed a hairline crack on the, um, the uh, chip that handles the green to the monitor. And it was just everything was green and wasn't on, didn't, kept, didn't get it from overheat or anything. Not sure why it happened, but that's the arcade business. If you're going to be running 772 games, you better be prepared to fix them on any given day. Um, let's see. Efren saying, can we buy Galloping Ghost Arcade shirts at, at the arcade? Uh, usually, yes. As long as we have them in stock, we've, uh, we've had so many people buying them through our reproduction site, galloping And we appreciate everybody that's been so supportive of us in this time that we haven't been open to the public that, uh, we're out of a few sizes right now. Um, if you order, if you want to order them through the reproduction site, you can galloping and uh, they'll be shipped out to you. Usually, if you're getting here early and you let us know, sometimes we can have them ready that day. But uh, so yeah, just let us know the sizes and everything. Shoutouts to Charles, thank you for joining us. Paul saying, "My dream has come become a real reality. I'll be at the Colony. It's a decent hotel." They, the colony is pretty nice from what I hear. We have a lot of our regular stays right across the street. Um, they've been making a lot of improves, improvements and uh, just making it better. Uh, they've been getting, growing it and making it, um, they're taking care of their landscaping outside. I've heard a lot of, uh, they've been doing room improvements and stuff. So hope it, it should be nice for you, man. Can't wait to have you out here. Shane saying, hey guys, how's it going? It is going well, it is going well. A lot of movement here at the arcade. It's been unbelievable how everything is shifting around. Still so many things going on. We're, I got here at six this morning. Uh, Doug got here just working on everything. We went through the Neo Geo stuff. We had one cabinet marked with no sound. Uh, it was diagnosed as having uh, bad caps. So took it out and I noticed that the slider, the volume slider was all the way down and it was like, oh, did you not, did it not get tested where it got moved up or so put it back in. It, it took 15 minutes to get the whole thing out of the cabinet and look at it. Turned out it was just turned down. Easy fix, easy fix. So nice when that happens, but you know, it's, it's 25 minutes on a machine that could have been an easier fix, but again, that happens. And uh, fortunately, we, we caught it before we were taking caps off and doing unnecessary repairs, which is good, which is good. But it's why um, with tags, you, you gotta know the hardware. You gotta know where all the volume controls are and all the possibility of things that could be wrong with something. So um, with this many machines, it's hard to know all of the hardware, but uh, like, between myself and Doug Fox, like, we know this stuff. We know this stuff. So it's, it's coming along, though. It's coming along. I'm very excited for everybody to be here, put the stress test on the machines, and uh, enjoy everything that we've been working so hard on while in this time that uh, we, we haven't been around everybody, which is it's crazy. It's crazy, but excited for it. Sean saying, hey, Doc, always glad to see you rocking the daily streams amongst all the craziness. So glad the ghost is reopening soon. Thank you so much for that, man. It's, it's been so fun to do the streams and stuff. And now it's to have everybody back and people that we've met in the streams. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be very, I, I'll be probably be at a loss for words on that, on, on that first day. Nick, what is up? Thank you for being here. Thomas Ross saying you got to start selling uh, Doc Mac gloves at the door and we'll, we'll see about that. We'll passing through through the other connections. So sorry, dropping out for a second. Um, not only in Sonic, but uh, Block Seed, another great game from Sega. So they, they would put a, make cameo appearances and such, uh, just like Sonic did in Radmobile. Sonic's first appearance.
Paul the Cruz saying what's up uh, stream bad news to Cruz showing my love I'll be the I'll be there in August 7th 8th and 9th that is awesome man we can't wait to have you hopefully you're, you're planning our T20 tournament very excited for that it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one um, we don't know we have not done registration for the T20 for those that don't know what T20 is it's our tournament in 20 games uh, we've done it for I think this is our sixth year seventh year I believe um, tournament in 20 games we don't tell anybody what the games are uh, it is the start of our 10 year anniversary event week uh, an event week so Friday Saturday Sunday 7th day the 9th is T20 then the 10th we're gonna have our outrageous Monday mystery game and then on the 13th is our actual 10 year anniversary which we crown our new gamer of the year and then on the 15th we're having a big bash here at the arcade with a bunch of legends of the industry um some youtube stars a lot of high score players a lot of 1cc players and we're going to be going for the most people playing arcade games at one time so that should be a lot of fun um hope everybody can make it and great to hear that people like paul de cruz are flying in and uh and hopefully fat chris will be here and it's it should be a good time should be a good time Shane saying one arcade one up is announcing more new cabinets in one hour on IGN summer of gaming event ex I'm excited those definitely get people hyped up Thanos thank you for being here saying how are you, how are you doc and stay safe thank you so much for that uh, having an amazing day a lot getting done but still so much more to go it's uh, you can see here like we're looking in the fourth expansion which we would refer to as the bunker section the bunker because uh, our landlord, that's what he used to refer, refer to it as, was the bunker. Here we can see, here's something I'd wanted to see for the longest time, and I'm so happy to show this. You have Darius from Taito. Outrageously rare Darius 2. Three screen, 13 inch. Two screen, two 19 inch screens. Darius Gaiden and G Darius, two in one cabinet, both original board sets. And then Darius Burst EX. So amazing, all the Darius games finally lined up. Then we've got our new light gun section, Silent Scope, Gunblade New York, House of the Dead. Our alien section within the light gun section, Alien 3 the Gun, Alien Extermination and Aliens Armageddon. Then our beautiful Savage Quest cabinet. Then out Foxy's, a little bit of Namco action here. Uh, Lucky and Wild, Time Crisis, and then Speed Racer. And we're going on to Sega's Line of Fire, AB Cop, Brave Firefighters, Space Harrier, Sit Down Full Motion, Radmobile, Sit Down Full Motion, and Afterburner, Sit Down Full Motion. Pretty good lineup in this building, I'm pretty happy to say. Well, I'm here, look, we got Chiller right there. I wonder who's a big Chiller fan. There we got Kerry Hoskins on Revolution X. This is like Fat Chris's section over here. Uh... Paul saying, Brucina can't wait to be there too. Should be a fun time. Should be a fun time. Dennis saying, just got my flicker, flicky poster. Very nice. Thank you so much. Again, Danielle, thanks everybody that uh, made that stream so amazing. Um, she's still talking about doing more streaming, but we just it hasn't picked a game yet. So, but thank you so much for being a part of that amazing stream. And shout out to Ken Walker, Master Tech down at Galloping Ghost Pinball. So busy down there too. Ken has done an, an amazing job on our Defender pinball machine, making that center artwork like look like brand new. Then we've also updated today, this morning. First thing when I got here, yeah, first thing was uh, we updated the Elvira code on our Elvira House of Horrors um, to version 0.96. So very awesome to see that game coming together. 
I haven't even uh, read all the notes as to the improvements to the game. You know, they've had a, several updates to the game, and unfortunately, as pinball's not open to the public, people haven't been able to enjoy it and try all the new things. So several new updates on Elvira since last time people have been there. Oh, that's... So you can hear the phone going off, and that's that's a good sign. I'm hoping for when we are back open to the public that it's busy. So we shall see. Shout-outs to Brady. Thank you for being here, man. Uh, Paul saying, Doc, will have to burn to be operational by August. So we are working on the motion for it. We're trying to get all of that stuff. We still have the list Actually, after burner, and we haven't gotten to that one yet. I'm uh, still working on that Cruising USA, waiting on parts. Uh, it's just been so many projects going on at once, and um, it, it should be close. It should be close. Uh, Bulldog saying, please have 4X and 5X t-shirts available if possible by money so I can purchase it. Thank you so much, Doc. I will let our, our guy Jim over at Reproductions know to have some, some ready. Uh, Ronald saying the kids and I will be there soon. Thank you so much for that. This, you know, you guys have been so amazing, uh, throughout this whole craziness and, um, we appreciate all the support on, uh, people buying shirts and hats and, uh, day passes. And we really appreciate it. It's been difficult for us as we, we kept all, all of our employees on, um, throughout all this time amongst all six businesses. Uh, and you know, the support from you guys has really helped out so much and made it to where we're, we're making it through. It was never a question of if we would make it through, but definitely your support has made it to where it's not as bad as it could have been. Uh, so we really appreciate you guys so much and appreciate, uh, the constant support and just hearing the way the phone is ringing, the amount of emails asking about, uh, when we're opening, uh, to the public and everything, it's it's encouraging. Um, our March and April uh, months are our last year were our two busiest months. So it is had quite the heavy impact on us uh, if, as far as business goes. Um, we were spread so thin in so many different areas, and uh, we really look forward to coming out. And obviously, we have to stick with the guidelines of making it comfortable to where we're keeping our social distancing and our we're working on how to handle that. Obviously 772 machines, it's an entire block long. So it, it'll, we'll, ha we'll handle it and make sure that, um, everybody is well spaced and social distancing is being adhered to. Uh, but we'll have to, we're, we're going to play it by ear. We've talked with, with people and, uh, everybody seems like we're doing more than is what, re what is required of us, uh, to make sure that we're being safe. So we're, we're confident that, uh, everything is going to go smoothly and without a hitch and maintain the level of safety that I think everybody's going to be comfortable with. Fat Chris saying, keep an eye on your front door in about 20 minutes. Fat Chris, too good to us, man. Thank you so much, man. Shout out to Terry Burtlow. Thank you for being here, man. Haven't seen you in a bit, man. Hope, uh, hope to catch up with you soon. Jimbo Slice saying, I will probably be the first person to show up on Monday. I, I, w I was kind of thinking that, man, and I, I appreciate that. That is awesome. It's, been, it's not been the same without you, man, so we can't wait to have you back. Dennis saying, this is awesome. Can't wait to stop in. Bulldog saying, not, Jimbo, not if I get in there first. Oh, a little bit of a, a race to see who's number one. You know, the guys are, are moving so many cabinets here. Look at this. We're finally seeing the big blue section come together. Cyberbots. Uh, Super Muscle Bomber. Dark Stalkers. Eco Fighters. X-Men versus Street Fighter. Marvel superheroes all coming together. All the big blues going into place. Very excited for it. Then we've got, look at this. you got Ikari Warriors and Heavy Barrel. Again, a two-in-one cabinet. Both original hardware. So Ikari Warriors, Victory Road, Ikari 3, 
and then you've got Gorilla War. So all your, your rotary stick games lining up. I'm liking it. I am liking it. Paul saying, uh, Doc, would you ever consider a short haircut? Uh, I'd consider anything, whether or not I do it. That's, that's another question. Uh, Alan's and I should have you look into my Sony rear projection TV. It's got a green haze uh, ever since I replaced the lamp. Kidding, uh, you've got your hands full. <laughs> you know, we love helping people get their stuff fixed, but it has become such a challenge with so many things going on all at once. This crazy game, Monkey Mole Panic. Look at that artwork. So fun. What a great game. What a great game. George, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, Eddie's saying I'll be there on the 15th. George saying see you December uh, 19th. Wife is coming too. Can't wait, man. That's going to be a fun time. Chris Davis saying, how are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Hope everybody else is too. Hope everybody has been staying safe, staying busy, and uh, helping everybody else out as best you can, if you can. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Paul DeCruz saying, I'll knock over 27 size signs and hit 15 cows and hard driving. Love hard driving. We were just going through that plan perfect. Dan Icavelli saying, I plan to be there on the anniversary. I don't know about June 15th. Well, we'll see you, we'll see you in August, man. It's going to be awesome. Charles saying, I'll miss you by a day and coming in for the 10-year uh, week. I'm surprised I'm pulling it off. Even if you can't be there, specific, like, it's always... There's always at least 772 machines here, man. So even if you can't make the anniversary, it's always going to be a good time. So appreciate you coming out. Shout out to Chance. Thank you for being here. Hope you are doing well. Greg's saying, I'll be sleeping in the vault. I don't know about that. You know, hopefully as, as we get... Sorry about that. Not sure why that took so long to come back there. Um... Efren say, are you going to keep these Facebook live streams after the arcade opens? So we, we might not do them every single day. Definitely. They've been so fun, though. It's been so great to connect with everybody and talk with everybody. Um, I, I don't know how often we're going to be doing them. I, I, at least minimum once, twice, three times a week, I would think. It's uh, the first week out of the gate. Uh, I, it'll, it's going to be hectic here, but... You know, every time uh, there's not been a day, we have not missed a day doing some sort of stream event. And it's hard to think of not doing it. So we'll keep doing them. We're going to keep doing them. Um, Charles saying, so can T20, man. It'll be worth the experience. Uh, T20 is so amazing. You get to just hanging out with everybody. Usually, last year we put 14 new games uh, at T20. There was 14 games that people got to try for the first time that they had never played here at the arcade before. So a lot of fun, people learning new games. Uh, we always try to keep a few surprises on hand for that. So it's, uh, it's one of those, you, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Every T20 has been very memorable. Our first we had... Uh, Billy Mitchell and Walter Day were out here. Such a fun event. Uh, Brian Cohen joined us and donated two unreleased prototype games, RC Squared and International Team Laser. Just stuff that people have never even seen or heard of before. Uh, let's see. Lumbo saying his Sorry about that, everybody. Not sure why it keeps dropping out. Uh, we're going to keep going, though. Uh, Timothy Roth, thank you for being here. Brad Williams, thank you for being here, man. Let's see. Tim saying, uh, hey, Doc, was there ever a sit-down cockpit-style Star Trek game, or did I make that up? So there's technically two. 
there's the Sega uh, vector game that uh, they had the captain's chair. It was a big sit-down captain's chair from Star Trek. And then there was uh, Star Trek Voyager that... Is that Voyager? Yeah, that was Voyager. That uh, was a sit-down two-player light gun game. Um, let's see. Greg saying people are calling to play Operation Wolf. Operation Wolf is so good. We got Operation Thunderbolt over there. And then we've got to reunite it with its... The first game in the series, Operation Wolf, right there. Ah, uh, let's see. Charles Sands, the weak membership... Uh, include pinball. Uh, pinball is a separate thing. You know, our pinball area might not open on the same day um, as the regular arcade. Uh, throughout all this, unfortunately, two of our, our guys have uh, left uh, being here at Galloping Ghost. Uh, Eddie gave his uh, two-week notice, and Sam has already moved out to California. So it's we're a bit understaffed, even with all, everything that's going on. Uh, it's, it's, you know, we got to do and move forward. But pinball might have to take a slight break until we can get kind of righted and on track. And focus has to be on, on the arcade for right now. But uh, we're, we're going to get everything else, the gamma and, um, the, and pinball back up as quickly as possible. Timothy Roth sent in a thousand stars. Thank you so much, man. Very, very much. Thank you for that. And Dennis sending 378 stars. You guys, again, thank you so much. Very, I uh, can't appreciate, can't tell you how much we appreciate the support. John saying, I'm uh, for sure going to make my first trip out for the August Galloping Ghost Arcade Extravaganza. It is something you do not want to miss. That Monday mystery game, mind blowing, mind blowing. Uh, Brady saying Savage Quest is actually a lifelike, violent, strong game. Yeah, there's some violence in Savage Quest. Just just a bit, just a bit. A little dinosaur on dinosaur violent action. Greg saying, did you tune up the driving games in the Galloping Ghost Garage? <laughs> yeah, we, sh we should uh, be reporting those fixes over there, too. Um, Todd, thank you for joining us. Eddie saying uh, Star Rider. Sorry about that. I had forgotten about that. I went over there, lost my train of thought. <clears throat> uh, Sean asking, did they announce an open date, full cap date? What did I miss? So on August 15th, we're going to be opening up to our weekly, monthly, yearly, and lifetime members. And then on the 20th, we'll be open to general players. So, uh people right next to his space gun great like a game and then sit down sinistar code veronica has moved in here right next to starblade right next to golly ghost right next to the massive la machine guns and we got tech mobile right there and of course six player x-men i have to pull that camera out that cabinet is huge and the coolest thing, it used to be in this corner over here. But now the nice thing, look at all that space. You can, you can play as Dazzler. Nightcrawler, Storm, Wolverine, Colossus, and Cyclops. And plenty of room. Right next to it, Metamorphic Force. All four players are open. Turtles on the other side was open too. I'm gonna have to go back into the main building. I'm not sure why we're dropping so much again. Really have to get that fixed. Um, Charles, you're giving, saying, uh, Doc, you're giving me a heart attack with the way the rearranging is looking. I mean that in a positive way. There is so much. There's seemingly a lot more space. Aisles seem wider. Uh, the arrangement, again, you got your awesome stern row. I like hearing that phone's ringing. That means that uh, people want to be coming by. Fat Chris, I see pizzas arriving. Thank you so much for that, man. Very, very much appreciated. Super generous of you, man. Uh, 
that uh, the guys have been moving so much, I'm sure those pizzas are gonna be gone pretty quick. Everett saying Starblade, how amazing is that? Starblade, so rare. And um, we had, we got it at, um, where did we get that? I think Troy actually, Troy Smith, great guy that we've bought so many machines from, uh, point us in the right direction of that one. And so happy to have that amazing game. I played it a ton on the Sega CD. I never saw the arcade version. And now it's here for everybody. So that's awesome, man. Uh, Paul saying, I think it's really going to hit me when I walk through those doors. I'm not going to know what to do with myself. It's a lot to take in. We hear that from a lot of people. Uh, Thanos saying, your broadcast keep, keeps getting interrupted. Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping from building to building too much, so sorry about that. Danikville, yeah, sorry with the connection drops. Uh, Vecra saying, when I come in, Doc, we're getting a couple of games of Operation Wolf in. I cannot wait, man. Can't wait. That's always a good view right there. So good. So good. Um, Brady, uh, Brady St. Doc, uh, that's where I saw Invasion, the abductor's machine. So let's head over by Invasion. Great game. We got that. Our version of Alien uh, Invasion, the abductor's, was actually donated to us by Will Carlin, who worked on the game and the game's creator. Very cool people. They were the ones that actually offered to sell us the original prototype cabinet where we saw those ray gun type guns that are on it. And uh, at the time we had passed on it, but Will had donated that one. So we still ended up with the proper guns. Oh, I see. Captain Commando. Edge and Jeremiah walking off with Captain Commando going to that big blue aisle. That is going to be awesome. Paul saying, is there a pinball only annual membership? Yes, there is. Um, we've got, I think we have the numbers on our reproduction site for that as well. Uh, Thanos saying, next time I visit my friend in your state, I'll definitely hit your arcade up to play some games. Hope to see you here, man. Let us know when you're coming. Charles saying, just glad you're keeping it uh, going for us to enjoy your renaissance, man. Thank you so much for that, man. It's, you know, it's hard to, it was so sad when we were opening up before, years before we opened, just looking around at the state of the arcades. And that was really what had the, uh, made the business model so easy to write. It's like, wow, I want to be out playing arcade games and I can't even find a working Mortal Kombat 2. So it was just kind of like, if we open a place Maintenance has to be number one. We got to have all the crazy rare games, and that was kind of the cornerstone. Uh, Jerry saying, do you have Willow and the Adventures of Nemo in Dreamland? I've never seen those in the wild. Neither of those are on the arcade floor so far, but you never know what's going to come up on Monday Mystery. Already having to talk about Monday Mystery here. We're trying to figure out what, what's going on the floor. Limited cabinets to work with, and... Um, so it'll be interesting. We'll, we want to pick something that everybody's going to totally dig. Um, Dan saying, I love when you pass the Atari aisle seeing Tempest lead it off. I know you're a Tempest fan, man. That's awesome. It's, uh, it's right there on the end for everybody to see. Uh, Fat Chris saying, question, would cake be permitted on Monday for a reopening kind of celebration? Oh, I think we're going to have some, some, some surprises for everybody. Um, Greg saying we need the Atari building with Atari Neon. That'd be all right. Some Atari Neon would be all right. Uh, Chance saying I'll text you after this so we can talk. That will be here. So I think with that, I'm going to jump back to helping my guys move some cabinets and keep getting ready. That clock is ticking. We're running out of time. We got to get everything in place and get ready and uh, so much to do, so much to do. We're going to be coming up on some long days ahead of us uh, just because we want everything to be as, as amazing as possible when we see everybody on Monday and especially when we see everybody else on uh, that upcoming Saturday. So 
definitely appreciate every, appreciate everybody uh, tuning in. Uh, Chris saying stay safe. Thank you so much, man. Everybody stay safe out there. Be well. Um, great, great to see the kind of return to normal coming up. So I uh, hope everybody is taking care and doing well. And uh, this, this should be an interesting upcoming week. And we'll be back tomorrow, of course. No worries. We'll be back here at 5, 5 p.m. tomorrow. Thomas Roth, thank you so much. Thanos, Jason San. Um, can't remember the name, but you all have a game. They're called something with Lair in it, and you're a knight. That would be uh, probably Dragon's Lair or Dragon's Lair 2. Great laser disc game. Um, Alan saying thanks for all the info, Doc. See you soon. Dan Icavelli saying thank you. Thank you all so much. Uh, Alex saying coming out uh, from Montgomery on the 23rd. Uh, Stephen Lucas asks about running the gauntlet. We will see. Hopefully we'll get it in. If it's not beforehand, we'll just start it and just run it as best we can. So excited for that. It's coming up. It's coming up. So thank you, everybody. We will see you all tomorrow for the live stream. Uh, again, be safe. Take care. And uh, join us if you haven't already. Uh, if you're a weekly, monthly, yearly, or lifetime member, join us on the 15th. If not, the doors reopen to everybody on the 20th. So thank you all so much for everything. You are so amazing. So thank you. And uh, until next time, thanks everybody. This is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade. And we hope to see you around the arcade soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Be safe.